Welcome back to the channel. Today we're fitting five wheels to our FK2. Let's get started. One little bit of housekeeping before we get started today. So really want to ask you guys to make sure you're sharing the videos and subscribed. And the reason for that is because at the moment, with us being under a thousand subscribers, we have no control over what adverts are put ahead of our videos. We really like to see that number grow and then bring that content to you guys that little bit sooner. So with that out of the way, let's get back to the wheels. So these are a set of Team Dynamics. These are 19 by eight and a half inch and they're ET45. So these have also been wrapped in the Toyo R888R tyres. It's a previously used set, this was on our first FK2 demo car. So we know what we're going to get with these. They're going to be a nice flush fit straight down the side of the arch. So we'll end up taking the spacers off this car and just going with a direct bolt on wheel. The second half of the job will be fitting the fifth wheel to the car. Now that'll be the driver's steering wheel. We're going to be replacing the worn out FK2 shiny steering wheel here with one of our very own retrimmed wheels. These are the IBAC 20mm spacers. Now we're going to be taking these off of the car. These gave us a 20mm poke to the wheel that we had on there from standard. Now the standard wheel was an ET60. Putting these on took us down to about an ET40. The Team Dynamics that we're going to be putting onto this now instead are an ET45. So we won't have quite as much poke to the side of the body, but it still will be a nice look down the side of the car and a direct fit. So just while I got the wheel off, I thought I'd show you the, the back here. This is what we do when we fit the IBAC spacer to the car. You would have noticed from that last image there where the studs would sit a little bit too far out towards the edge of the pockets here. So we just put a slight grind in towards the edge there just to give a bit of clearance so the wheel then does bolt and sit flush to the hub. Quick check of the pressures and we'll move on to the interior. I've disconnected the battery now, so I'm ready to start on disassembling of the steering wheel here. I'm going to start off by taking the airbag out first. That will allow me to get to the centre spline bolt. Once I've got that out, I can then knock the wheel off and start removing the switches to exchange over to the new wheel. Now I've got the wheel off, I'm going to take it over to the bench and start stripping out the switches and some of the trims around here. That's the switch is swapped over, let's get it back in the car. So this bit's always a little bit tricky. When we go to fit another wheel that we've trimmed onto, onto an FK2 or FK8, if it's not the original wheel that came with the car, there could be a very slight difference in that centre spline, which means that the wheel could be a nax cock off to one side, which means it would just need a slight adjustment on the tracking. Wheels advise doing so when we fit a wheel, and I'll put this onto the alignment ramp and do that next. Just before I refit the airbag, there's one other thing that I'd advise replacing at this point. So it's the two retaining screws which hold the airbag into place. They come fitted with Loctite already, so they tend to be a one-time use. We would then, obviously as a safety restraint unit, we would do away with these and replace these with new, new bolts each time. I 
just finished up fitting on all the wheels now. So this wheel here particularly, I've been waiting to trim a wheel like this for quite some time. It's got the smooth Nappa lever on top with the perforated lever on sides. Now I feel that's like a, a really good everyday sort of wheel. There's no suede on there which is going to get blocked up with dead skin if it's not cleaned regularly. But remember we can trim these wheels to any spec you like. If you go over to the website then you can see that we can do a top suede, bottom suede, side suede, with or without a centre band, different colour stitching. So we have many options but this is one that I preferred for, for a car that I'm going to be using day to day. And remember if you like the video and you want to see more of the content like this from us, hit the share and subscribe buttons and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.